Today we are filming Apocalypse Survival Vehicles Budget Challenge. Whatever budget you get, you have to outfit your vehicle to survive the apocalypse. Food. That's all I think of. You're gonna need food, sleeping, weapons, defense, and of course, entertainment. I'll drop first. What are you doing out here, Fred? What are you doing out here, Fred? What are you doing? It bounced up. Oh! No! 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 no. You got 32. <laughs> That's one of the worst budgets I think we've ever had. No! <laughs> no! No! You guys might be wondering how could I possibly make an apocalypse survival vehicle out of $32? I have an idea. I'm gonna impress all of you, I promise. If I'm not impressed, then you just lied. Oh. You'll be impressed. I'm creative. What is that? What is that? What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Oh! Okay. What is that? What is that? Oh. Wraps. I saw the one in the zero. I thought it was a thousand. Well, oh. you at least you got more than me. We're both going to be probably dying in the apocalypse. You are. I could still get 75, which is not good. Yeah, but most of these are big budgets. Guys, we do keep seeing your comments that me and Justin need to switch budgets, but... That was filmed on J2 Studios. So the next J2 Studios budget challenge, me and Isaac are switching budgets. I'm glad we don't have to switch this time. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Oh! oh not the biggest. Whoa, but a thousand bucks! Woo! That's pretty good. Andrew, you literally have over 10 times the amount of money as I do. So I'm expecting a 10 times better vehicle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go to the store and get our supplies. Uh, ready to go shopping, guys? There's a few major things I need to get from the store. That's the food items, and then we're in the apocalypse. So I got to get the survival foods. I got to get some weapons. Um, you know, all the basics. Oh yes, the base camp freeze-dried meal pack. Every good apocalypse survivor's got one of these. Probably thousands of these, actually. Gas crawler. Ooh, a five-in-one survival aid. Oh, there's just so many options. Water storage. Every survivalist knows you gotta go with the best mug on the market, Stanley Yale Nats. All day hydration. How much is this? Wow. This mug is more than Justin's entire budget. Ah, the spotting scope. What is that? So I can see things. You can spot enemies from far away. Exactly. You guys must not be very good survivalists. No, I am. I just wish I could afford that. This has two weapons in one. We'll get this guy. We have to have weapons because once we're all done designing our vehicles, there will be a test. What are we getting attacked by? What kind of apocalypse is this? One of the zombie kind? That's one of the worst ones. This is pathetic, guys. Even the micro guns I can't afford. I, saw, I dropped my mic. I'm sorry. These are so cool. They come with three bullets, miniature toy. Huh? This is the best beef jerky I've had. It is so good. So we're gonna get a few packs of these. I gotta do some stuff to the outside of the car. I'm thinking about some type of disguise. I don't know how I'm gonna attach it, but I just have to full send it and we'll see what we get. Since Justin has the absolute lowest budget, it's gonna be hard for him to afford any type of weapon. So I'm feeling a little generous. I think I might splurge on a gift for him. If you've ever played PUBG, the starting weapon is a frying pan, and I found just the one for Justin. Well, this is like an exercise. Look, guys. Yes. Still got budget left over. We're at Walmart now. This is the king of the middle budget, which is what I have. Not too expensive, but not too cheap. I might be able to get something here on my list of things, but I need to call the dollar store first because if they have it, of course it's cheaper. Thank you for calling Dollar Tree. How do I help you? Hi, do you happen to have clothes for sale? We have t-shirts for $1.25 and then we have some like graphic tees that are $5. All right, only shirts, no pants? No, um, we might have a few basketball shorts for like smaller kids. Okay, this was a helpful call, thank you. We need some pants, so let's go look. With only $32, every single dollar and cent counts. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a bug out survival outfit, because look, pants, they're on clearance and they're $15. Isaac, I was really stop. hoping Isaac. I could have. Oh, oh, Isaac. Ah, ah, ah. I thought he was a zombie. 
Guys, I'm going to do what I would probably do in real life if there was an apocalypse. Kill as many zombies as possible. Since I only have $100, I have to use it wisely. So instead of getting things to sleep, I don't sleep. Instead of getting entertainments, my entertainment is slaughtering zombies. If the apocalypse is happening, you have no power, no grocery stores, no water. You're just, your only priority is fighting. <laughs> That's my entertainment. What I'm saying, what I'm trying to say, well, I'm gonna get a bunch of these. These are only a dollar each. So this should at least keep me going until I can kill some zombies and drink their blood. I would love to make really nice meals, but I didn't get enough budget for that and for killing. <laughs> killing zombies, that is. I'm gonna get a bunch of what I think is one of the best survival foods, and that's peanut butter. I'll be able to sustain my life off of just four scoops of this a day, maybe. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy. I might need a little more than that, but yeah, especially if it's cold and this gets frozen, It'll last even longer, and I can bash <laughs> zombies over the head with it. <laughs> it's coming over the aisle. Oh. Did you catch it? Yeah, I did. Okay, I found some camo, but I'm not sure how big oh. it is. Oh. I'm going for an ambush. I, I, had the worst I, <laughs> I had the worst reaction. I'm gonna be pretty offensive in my attacking. What is it? <laughs> no, not oh. offensive. Offensive. Hey, you oh. look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie falls over. I found these strategy true covers. They're basically camo tarp. Sometimes you gotta be hiding in plain sight to get a good jump on the enemy. From my knowledge, zombies are pretty Dumb. What about other humans? Oh, is that Remember, a there's not just zombies in the apocalypse. They're smugglers. Smugglers? Who are they? Han Solo. <laughs> Who are they smuggling? I don't know. There's just other bad guys out there. This will be good. Zombies are scared of loud noises. Wait, hang on. I think they're attracted to loud noises. Yeah. Perfect. I'll lure them into my trap. What about other humans? What is with you and other humans? What is with you and zombies? <laughs> Getting hit in the head with a skateboard is one of the worst ways to die. <laughs> what? <laughs> to make this even more effective, I'm gonna put uh, screws and nails coming out of this. So when I go up and bam, it's gonna do some real damage. It's okay you dropped my box because it's virtually indestructible. It's my time to shine, guys. The Dollar Tree. If I play my cards right, I can get around 32 items for my survival vehicle. I have a lot of things going through my mind. First thought, if you're in a survival situation where your vehicle fails you, you need to have a go bug out bag that you can just immediately take all your survival gear out of your bag and go somewhere else. I'm not sure if Dollar Store has bags that are for cheap, but they do have finger protectors. I have a really unique idea. Sing! Dude, perfect. I have a very unique idea that involves this for my defense. I'm gonna get that for sure. It's pretty good. I may have to get Isaac a uh, book to read called Basic Concepts. Oh! Isaac. Yep. Yeah, buddy, now nah, boy. I'm sorry, guys. I found a bag, guys. My bug out bag. I mean, it's gonna have to work unless I can find something better. Extreme heat socks. Even better go bag. Much more space. Way bigger than this one. That's why you always gotta keep your options open. This is definitely going to come in handy. You never know when you could get injured in a survival situation as well. So we got bandages and a first aid portable pack as well. Snacks and water, things that have lots of calories, high protein, and just straight up water. Don't eat anything fancy. Some nuts here, maybe some beef jerky. And also you need to keep in mind, you want food that can last a long time. If you buy something that expires quickly, it's no use for you. Stuff like this is good. Not my first choice, but um, it's a sausage, 10 grams of protein. It's a good amount of food. Canned foods, they last the longest. Oh, this is great. Very important. 
The biggest one comes with 300. We're all back from the store. It's time to start designing our apocalypse vehicles. We have three hours before we go through some tests to see how well we've done and how well we could survive the apocalypse with our vehicle. I'm using the F-150 for my apocalyptic vehicle. One thing I'm gonna do, look at this. The back seats fold up super nicely. So I have all this room in the back. I just gotta clean this out a little bit and then I'm gonna start designing and setting up the vehicle. Yum. So I got the middle budget. I got the middle sized car. This is a 2023 Ford Bronco. This bad boy is gonna kick some zombie cheeks in the apocalypse. This is the Badlands edition for a bad boy. I'm not saying for that, Drew. <laughs> this is the Badlands edition for a bad boy. <laughs> Since I got the lowest budget, I get the lowest budget car, which is a Jeep Renegade. Not that big and spacious, but sometimes you gotta work with what you got. I'm gonna get all my gear and figure out a game plan for the inside. Not to mention, the windshield is already cracked in here, so you kinda already feel like an apocalypse vehicle. Yeah. Wish it wasn't cracked. So I just got all of my gear set up here in the trunk. It doesn't look like a lot, but every item I got is intentional and effective. So I'm going to organize it and put it in its proper bags. Like I mentioned, the bug out bag, very important. I'm really happy with what I got with the 32 bucks. A little worried, but I got everything I need. I'm set. Looking over at Justin's trunk, he managed to get a ton of things, more than I did. What I'm gonna have to rely on here is quality over quantity. I'm hoping that my items may be fewer, but uh, pack more of a punch. First obstacle, I got this cot because I thought it would fit, but it sticks out too far but I think I can get a different cot. I think folds up, so it's almost like a seat. I think that's the only way it's gonna fit in here. That gummit, this was gonna be perfect! It's time to make this thing more apocalypse friendly. I don't recommend making this, and I'm gonna be very careful with it once I've completed it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so dangerous. If my battery were to die, I wouldn't have any light, any heat, anything like that. So I got a light like this because that doesn't rely on anything but batteries. So I was able to afford batteries, get this light. So I'm gonna install it up here in worst case scenarios. Perfect. Trash bags are very multi-use. Comes with nine trash bags. These could be used as waterproof type pants or something to put on your shoes if you have to like cross a river or a, a wet area as a tourniquet. Not ideal, but uh, it definitely would help if you use it and you could tie it around your leg. Also, what I'm gonna use it as is insulation in the car. I know a trash bag is not very thick, but if you line all the windows with the trash bags, it helps a little bit. I found another cot that if I broke a piece off, now it fits. A cot in the back seat is just super fun. And I've got my electricity power bank right here. This is a necessity in the apocalypse. Connected with the solar panels, you throw these out the window when you're ready to charge. In my universe, the apocalypse, there was no EMP yet, but there's big fear that there will be an EMP. So I gotta protect my valuable generator with some layers of tin foil. And depending on how strong the EMP is, I'll be fine. So I have a very unique idea for my weapon that includes this broomstick and aluminum foil. Obviously the dollar store doesn't have any weapons other than like these cheap Nerf guns. So I'm gonna make my own using this aluminum foil. Dude, that's crazy. I put some at an angle as well, right on the tip, so I can maybe do a little more of like a stabbing motion if I don't have the room to swing. Good grief, I would not want to get hit with this. Basically going to be crafting my own sword with the metal. When you use enough aluminum foil, it actually can make something extremely sharp. I'm just gonna wrap this thing in all the foil and then sharpen it. Even though I technically had the metal budget in this challenge, $100 is really not that much to work with. Big jar of peanut butter, skateboards, sleeping bag, all stuff that you should have at your house and can essentially make a pretty formidable foe in an apocalypse. I'm rearranging for more optimization. I've basically finished the inside of the truck. Now I'm just working on the outside, including the truck bed. There's a lot of space here, but I did kind of run out of budget, so this is all that's left. We get this all situated, so it's like a permanent zone. Ow. Oh, oh. If I can sit here, I've got my indestructible box, a campfire, strap these down to the truck, and boy, oh boy. The apocalypse is here, and I found myself in the middle of the woods. Wait a minute, you had what budget? $32. It kind of does look like a lot for that budget. Yeah, you're gonna be impressed with the inside, but just wait till I get on the road and show yeah. you the capability. I have my mesh food bag and I have a bigger bag. So I, if I am, you know, 
ransacking homes or anything, I could throw more food I find in here. Ransacking Someone homes? else's vehicle. Canned goods. We got milk, can opener, juice, water, beef stew, high protein things like fish and sardines. And right here is my bug out bag. If I need to leave my vehicle, everything I need in here, That's essential. Cool. What, what would you guess is in here? Butt wipes. Butt wipes. A hand sanitizer. After you use your hand to wipe your butt. Yeah. Well, you're kind of close. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> what? Those could be butt wipes. Exactly. Matches. Oh, oh, smart. Fire. First aid kit. In case of injuries. That's also smart. And then, of course, you need pain reliever if you get a big Audi on the, on the move. What kind of Audis are you expecting? <laughs> I don't know. In what? the apocalypse, that Advil will fix. Headache. <laughs> <laughs> From all the stress. <laughs> Suing kit. A sewing kit? Yep. Safety pins, scissors, a needle threadler, and all this thread. Thread could come in handy in multiple ways. Yeah, you if can you... stitch yourself up for the yeah, big owie. That is actually uh -huh. a good... You, just, you, you were thinking that or no? Yes, all the things, dude. <laughs> High percentage alcohol for owie. Yeah. My weapon of choice, a oh, handmade wow. spear slash sword. This isn't my only weapon either. Really? I have a better weapon. You have a better weapon yeah. than that? How does yeah. it get any better? This is all aluminum foil. If Ooh. I really send it, that would actually hurt. Whoa, right? that's like Ooh. really solid. Ooh. <laughs> I can literally oh, that's, oh, that's slap, cool. stab. If you saw me running up with this, you'd be like, what is that? Obviously this car isn't that big, but enough space back here for me to hide out in. So you can see, I could literally, I blacked out the windows for like a little insulation, but if I, if the car runs out of energy, because I don't have solar, crack the glow stick, and villains won't see in here. I can play Monopoly by myself for entertainment. I'm all the players. He Dude. wins no matter what. You ready for my next weapon? Uh -huh. Yeah. You have no idea what I'm about to do. You're okay. an enemy coming up to oh, my car. Okay, okay. I need you to stay away from this side. Just open the door. Am I going to be hurt? As long as you don't stand right here. So you're hoping that in real life, the enemy opens it and is like ready to yes. come in? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> Ouch! Did you, you burn yourself? He was on my fire! Hand was literally on fire! <laughs> His whole hand was on fire! That's crazy! <laughs> Were you expecting that? No, not even, <laughs> nothing close so to that. So immediately set the enemy on fire, not yeah, myself. that's good. I actually got you a present. Really? A present? <laughs> Have you ever played PUBG? I've seen it. Do you know what the starting weapon is? Yeah, Here. a pan. What the? An actual cast iron? Oh, I can take some of my soup and make it in like 12 different batches. And you can ration <laughs> and you can bash them. What? This is actually like solid. This would act, probably knock you out if I- Do a little thing. Ouch. <laughs> All right, boys, welcome to my apocalypse vehicle. I had $100. Like I was saying earlier, I didn't get a whole lot of little things, but I got all the things that'll get me through the apocalypse. Pretty much everything I got is right here in the back. This Bronco is very spacious. Once you put those chairs down, I can basically lay full body right here in the sleeping bag. This thing should keep me nice and warm. Also, I, I noticed you have like an outfit of sorts. <sighs> With no sleeves, like that's right. This is like this makes me look tough. Oh, you, you realize it's winter, right, guys? <laughs> in in my apocalypse, it actually just happened in August. So <laughs> I got this to protect my identity in case I need to do some sketchy stuff, morally ambiguous, or things. fraud, or some fraud. I got this big thing of peanut butter. I actually forgot to get a spoon. Just like Justin was saying, if I do need to leave my vehicle for any time, throw one of these bad boys in my pocket. You're only surviving <laughs> on peanut butter. That's all you got. Yeah. <laughs> I got more food than you? Yeah, but I. this is all you need. Peanut butter? <laughs> is your go bag is just peanut butter in the pocket? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, this little scoop, right, is about 180 calories. I got, I, I was trying, for my budget, mm. I was trying to maximize energy for food. Yeah, I guess mm. there's 57 servings in here. That's what I'm saying. And so, that's 57 days. I'll still need to ration it, but it'll hopefully give me the max amount of energy for the minimum amount of volume. And you'll sure have creamy poops. <laughs> I'm thinking it might block, like clog me up a little. Oh, which good. Will be, which will be good, because you don't want to be pooping on the go too much. Oh, oh, ow! My whole plan is to be stealthy. Horn With stealth? Horn. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm going to be stealthy until the enemy is close enough, and then this is the attack horn. It'll disorient them. Oh, for like a minute. the horn of Gondor. Oh! So it'll disorient them, scare them a little bit. Maybe they'll start fighting each other. He's letting his crew in the woods know, guys, I need backup. 
I would have gone door. I got all of this water as well. That should last me quite a little while. When it snows uh, come December, then I can hopefully melt the snow and stuff. But since it's still summer, I can't do that yet. <laughs> want to see my weapons? Yes, I want to see your weapon. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Holy! What the? what the Tony Hawk? Jeez! Just stabbed the ceiling. Oh, that's brutal. Look at that. And dual I can, wield? Whoa. I can maul grab dual wield. This is a legitimate weapon. Yeah, it is. That's definitely Tony Hawk's underground. So I can do it this way. So I can <laughs> box someone's ears. And I can also just use one and just absolutely full oh. swing it. These are going to do some real damage. And I think once word starts getting around the apocalypse, people are going to be a little bit afraid of the skateboard nail guy. Don't worry about the guy with the the actual guns. Yeah. You seen the skateboard guy? Have you seen that guy? He's crazy. He's in a tank top in the winter. He's friends with the guy who lights himself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flint wheel. And so when I need to start a fire. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you like had plenty of time, you'd get it going, right? Yeah, There's plenty of time during the apocalypse when you're being surrounded <laughs> with this truth. <laughs> Come on, light! <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. You gotta open this bad boy up and it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll go pretty quick. Right. Now it's time to show you guys what I'm talking about when I say stealth is my primary approach. But once I found a good place to park, it needs to be somewhat around some trees. I can cover my vehicle with this stealth tarp. Invisible! Uh, <laughs> with a little more time, I can obviously, you know, Perfect it. I actually really like this idea because it's from a. If I was like way over there and you had this whole thing covered, this would like blend in perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. This is your idea. You should be like, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Selling your idea. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I'm seeing it in real life. Last but not least, we have Andrew with the biggest budget. What'd you have? I had a thousand dollars. Let me show you what I built. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because look, I can go. Ooh. Oh. Didn't know about that. But if you're in a battle, you could probably knee somebody and not hurt. I've got the cooler filled with the best apocalypse water. Death. Oh, oh that's intimidating. I know, right, fellas? <sighs> what? Whoa, what's in that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there's plenty of more snacks in here, too. Intimidation tactics. Okay. Beef jerky, that's all you need to survive. In my apocalypse universe, there's the threat of an incoming EMP. It hasn't oh, gone off yet, but great. I have protected my electronic device, so my that'll, generator. That'll work even if all the electricity goes out. Uh-huh. Right below here, what? Whoa. right below here is the food storage bin. Now this has tons of meals. Like I've got biscuits and gravy, I've got chicken alfredo pasta. How many meals alfredo. do you have in there? I got enough for a while, let me tell you. And all that scores right up here nicely, right in the front seat. And some bagels. These are just quick little snacks you hold. Ah. You know what I mean? Let me show you the back seat, because this is my favorite part to the barricade. Ooh. Bear cave or the barricade? Barricade. Ah. What are you sitting on? This is a cot, and right under the cot is actually my go bag. How'd you fit a cot in here? Because there's so much room for activities. You guys showed your go bags, so I'll show you mine. Isaac Most had a go bag? Well, he had go Pe pockets. Peanut butter. I've got a bladder with water, rope, beef jerky, and oh. I don't know if I could stop that with my spear. You can't, that's why I'm taking all your supplies. Nope. That slides right under there. Get that. Once you're inside the barricade, you have lots of things to do. I've got the Stanley mug. I've got Sudoku puzzles, crossword puzzles. I've even got the world's last trading cards. <laughs> so I'm saving these for a rainy day when I'm just like, man, what was it like to open up a Kobe? That's cool. Yeah. And I've got this camo around so no one can really see inside. They have no idea what's going on. I've got the solar panel to recharge the power bank. So when I'm in here, I can just throw this up, leave it on the ceiling. Pull it back in. Oh, that's and we're cool. ready to go. Obviously, the cot here for super comfort, relaxation, and then my main weapon. Usually, I would take my shoes off to keep it cozy, but it's the apocalypse. Uh, it looks actually pretty cozy. It's pretty cozy. Yeah, it is. And you got a sleeping bag, sleeping bag, cot, and oh, forgot to even mention, I've got the heated blanket under here because in my universe, it's winter, as you can see outside. The zombies are arriving. <laughs> 
The outside is filled with extra water canisters. I have a gas tank one. I got extra water right here. I have a very powerful light. So when it's dark out, I can fire that up. I really want to try this fire pit. I have this locked down here. Just the fact that you have a truck bed makes it like 10 times better because if you run into other survivors, you can invite them to join your crew and they can just hang out the back while you're driving and you just have a place above the ground. This is very nice. This doesn't light. This will be the second time I can nearly take a <laughs> In theory, this would be a cool flame. And I got the propane tank here. Maybe you picked up a propane tank that was faulty or like used already by some other survivors. Yeah, why did I do that? I'm sitting here, just kind of chilling, eating beef jerky, got the campfire going. And then I see a, whatever, a straggler. <laughs> oh, you just kill random people as, as soon as you see them? Well, it's the apocalypse, buddy. <laughs> Justin, what is your survival scenario you have to overcome? As I've been in the woods, I've noticed a herd of smugglers approaching me. So I'm already in my vehicle, I notice, I, and I have to attack them. Oh, you're going proactive then. Watch. You're not trying to hide. Yep, watch and learn. Okay. We're on the attack, not defense. Let's get them, boys. This vehicle isn't the best in the snow, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I can throw my sword, not just use it. Problem averted. In my scenario, I have fully stealthed out my vehicle. And so I'm basically invisible to the naked eye. So there is a squadron of apocalypse pirates close by and they don't even know that I'm inside there. They're about to get a face full of lead. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whoa, I think they're all dead. You know, it's, it's a little pretty, it's kind of cold for August. <laughs> so speaking of your survival scenario, what are you in? Damn I heard gosh. reports of a bunker that has lots of supplies and it's surrounded by a bunch of Johnny Bravos. <laughs> oh, I hate those guys. <laughs> They're super strong and then there's a pirate lord. Oh, I gotta see what happens. I know. You better watch out, you Johnny! Ah! Right on. Who's that handsome guy? Get these guys. <clears throat> Look, buddy, I've taken down all your guys. Now give me the supplies. Oh, yeah? Watch my betrayed us! That's what I'm talking about. If you had to survive with one of us, who would you pick? Let us know in the comments below. We're almost to 8 million subscribers, guys. Hit subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next video. Like!